Hey, welcome to the best of everything. I am Ruben Paul, and across from me is my brother from another mother, mm. my Portuguese mm. brother. Oh, <laughs> Why? Embrace it, dude. Oh, a it Mr. Johnny Sanchez. Epa. Yo. Um, How can I? Your shirt is dope, dude. I love that shirt. Man, this is so crazy. This one, PK's friend. Whisper out to PK. Well, let me just let, let me uh, explain the shirt to people who oh, are just listening right. and not watching. And not watching. Um, it's uh, Jack Nicholson um, from The Shining, mm -hmm. and then you take it from there. And it's the iconic scene of him going, "Here's Johnny." And but then underneath, in parentheses, Johnny, so it says, "Here's Johnny." It says, "Here's Johnny," and, and then in, in parentheses, parentheses, it says, "Sanchez." Sanchez. That's and, a dope shirt. And the guy that made it, I was like, oh, I think my face should be on it. So yeah. he made me one with my face. I like that one. You like this? So yeah, this because everybody, a... well, I would I would have to see it because the the I think the thing that sells it is as soon as you see it, you, you get the, yeah, the correlation. Yeah, I never so thought if the, of if that. So if the other one, if, we, if I can see it and think the same thing, then it will be dope. Because you never want to go, I don't get it, you know? This you get immediately. Oh, you get, see. I feel bad now because I told like I go, hey, um, I don't. Shouldn't it be hey, my? You guys, face? Um, yeah. Leave comments or send Johnny messages. Does and, this and, shirt work? Yeah, I think Johnny should sell those. I think you'd make a killing. I should those. shell them or sell them. <laughs> sell them. No, I just I wasn't sure what you were talking about. I said sell them. You, no, what? you said shell them. I, I might have <laughs> said shell them, but I meant my, sell them. See, he can't. Do I it. said I might have said Did it. I didn't hear. How do I know? Never. I don't know. Never wrong, Ruben. What? Did you guys just witness that? What? I, know, said, I said sell. He tried to just throw it out there. No, no you said shell. And then I said, okay, I might have said I it. I mean, we'll go back and listen if you want. Chris, didn't I say I might have said it? Yeah. No. Thank after, you. first you went with, no, I said sell. And well, I go, no, uh. How would I know if I mispronounced something unless somebody told me I mispronounced it? I wouldn't know. I know what I was trying to say. You wouldn't know. I always know when I mispronounce something. Really? Every, yeah. Every single time? Yeah, Riley. Oh, I mean, really? See? I oh, wouldn't know if Jesus. I said Riley, not you really. you said it on purpose, you <laughs> idiot. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's just the worst example you can give. Anyway, anyway, I let, think let, Johnny said sell, sell, should sell, sell. these shirts. Ugh. Here's Johnny Sanchez. Yeah, but then but all right, then, now no. you start to annoy me. Now no, I don't, I don't care about though. the shirt anymore. But, I don't but, care. No, 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 no. Think about this. But then oh, people geez. are going to be walking around going, "Oh, is that okay?" Because aren't people going to go, "Hey, your name's Johnny Sanchez." To people that are wearing it, no, but you're selling to comedy fans to people who actually know you. Oh, I get it. Yeah, you're not. Oh, yeah? you're not putting them up at Ross. Uh, uh, hey, or, man. or the swap meet where you'd probably be selling those. Oh, really? <laughs> well, Portuguese people don't sell things at the swap meet. Okay, that's oh, the oh, Mexican joke that oh, you're trying to throw. Oh, in. That I, I, you're I not forgot. allowed to do anymore. Oh, I, for, I forgot yeah, because I'm not, only a third. Yeah, yeah. You're predominantly Portuguese. predominantly by five percent. Pre anyway. That's still predominantly. The percentages are still higher. Oh, by the way, everybody, tell me what you think. I'm. Uh, I was going with Portuguese, oh, but oh, I'm really, are we now, still doing now this? I'm thinking Porksikish. Porksikish. Even you made him grunt over there. Yeah. Even he went, Ugh. He went, Ugh. <laughs> It's All just right. too much, man. Or give me some ideas. No. How, how I mix how Portuguese, just... Mexican, and Spanish together. I don't want to mix any of that, man. Like, you just... I'm, I'm, I would, like last night when I'm like, I'm Iberian, you know, people have to really know that's what that is. But I'm I'm worried when I do a Latino show, there's going to be some cholos in the other going, wait, he's got beer? What happened to uh, me? Okay. No, I'm Iberian. Right. Well, pass it around, Holmes. You got some <laughs> beer or what, eh? You're ridiculous, man. Anyway, whisper out to my Mexican peeps, man. Anyway, uh, great job last night, man. Thank you. Thanks you're, for you're having me. Really, really funny. Uh, Johnny did Ruby Tuesdays last I night. I ran in. Yeah, real you ran quick. in real yeah, quick and, and did and your set. Did the set. Had fun. Crowd yeah. was great, yeah. man. They were great. It was a good crowd. Good. We had a great lineup. Um, we yeah. had Mike Young. My boy my, Mike Young yeah. came Whisper through. Whisper out to Mike Young. Shout out to Mike Young. Yeah, Beastie uh, Boy. Had uh, Dana Moon on the show. It was her first time doing Ruby Tuesday. Yeah. She did great. great. Yeah. Um, then we had my boy Naeem Lynn was on the show. And I saw the end of the tail end of his. He yeah. was doing great. He was great. He Naeem was is a very funny yeah, guy. Yeah. Um, if you guys don't know Naeem, 
Look him up on uh, IG. Uh, he's one of the Plastic is Cup it, boys that tours with Kevin Hart. Oh, uh, he has a special okay. coming out. Funny dude. It's it's, it's N A apostrophe. Yeah. A M. I am. I am. Yeah. I am. Okay. Yeah. 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 He used to have a joke where he used to go, "Nah, I'm lying." Oh, that's <laughs> funny. Yeah. That's funny. Um, <laughs> Yeah, he, funny, funny dude. Um, and then we had uh, Chris, you, you me, on there, yeah. yeah. Chris, Chris Red, Red from Chris Red SNL, killed it from SNL. who we watched come out to LA from Chicago yeah. and develop, and then land on SNL. Yeah, he was really funny last night. He yeah. was great. And then we had uh, Corey Holcomb, the great Corey oh, Holcomb. Oh, I miss Corey. He popped in. Yeah, Corey popped in and went oh, on after uh, Chris and. Uh, Corey's always funny. Always. Man. He just has a very specific, unique point of view. Mm-hmm. And then uh, my boy Godfrey closed it out, uh, yeah. was in town. So it, yeah. was, it was a fun night, man. Thank little, you for little known, the show. Little, thanks for having me. Little yeah. known fact, um, Godfrey, originally his parents were going to call him Jesus Free. And his dad's like, that's too much. Let's call him Godfrey only. What accent is that, dude? Isn't that is he Nigerian? Yeah, but that what was did I that, just do? that was I don't know what that was. Well, <laughs> it, okay. it was horrible. That wasn't Nigerian. <laughs> no, what, what it's almost as was? bad as your George Lopez, man. Oh, don't <laughs> even. Everybody loves my my G Lo, but you, dude, which is hilarious. Which is, you I don't think there's a little. I think ruins a little. I think it bothers you because oh. you're you have a great relationship with them. You guys are actually really good friends. Yeah, and that. You, I know you wish you could do it. No, I don't wish I could. Yeah, you. You do. just sound like George with a sore throat. Oh, uh, we're not gonna go through <laughs> this. Do. Anyway. do it. Really, right now? I don't know where. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw it out here. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> Chris, sounds. Does just that like sound it. like George? Uh, you're right with a sort of throat. <laughs> George Flupez. Oh, 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 oh George got, Lopez. He's with got the a flu. mic now. <laughs> Oh, who said you could have a mic? I like it with the mic. It's better. I do actually. Yeah, like no, 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 that's yeah. better. But you gotta, um, you, you gotta okay that with us next time, Chris. You just can't chime oh, in. Chris on is the just show. like he's just taking over. I man. know, man. Chris was, damn, dude. Yeah, we like it. But thank you for agreeing with me, Chris. Yeah, you you sound like George Lopez with the flu. So, <laughs> but honestly, that char- let, let we should have something. you do the. Char- it's gonna be George Flupez. Johnny, I doing- do like George Flupez. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> but get this, dude. You know when he did Beverly Hills Chihuahua three or something? You know sometimes they have people come in to do to, to match voices. A little bit. I, I did it for Chappelle one time. Okay, okay. Uh, like how that switched to him. Uh, back oh, to Ruben. Geez. Anyway, um, I just said no, I no, know. no. Humble, humble brag. I guess humble brag. Hum, humble brag. Is that where you got hit, uh, hitting uh, the mic on your knee from? <laughs> anyway, I don't hit the mic on my knee. Um, oh. what's that? I don't hit what did the you mic. just say? I don't hit. The so mic. I can I can say something if you do it right. Yeah, you can you, say you, you do I've done. Time. Everybody has done it before. Everybody, I don't do it. I don't hit my leg with the mic. No, I don't do the the. I don't do that. You've man. you've done it a, when you're. I've seen it in Long Beach. I've it, I've done it when before. You're in the moment, but it's not laughing. It's, when you're in the moment, you don't realize you're doing it. And you'll go, oh, you'll, God. you'll start laughing. You know, your you know, your, your thing. No, but there's, there's, no, 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 no. And then you hit, let's, let's, but let's clarify. Like it. Let's, like let's, yeah. Let's clarify. There's a difference between laughing in the mic, hitting your art and are using it as a tool. Like he does when he taps, that's like a hitting a gavel. That's what mm-hmm. he does. That's his, that's his thing. Okay. I don't do that. Okay. I don't consciously. Right. I'm gonna take. No, the mic you don't. I realize that you don't know you're doing it. Yeah, it's not. But yeah, you, you literally just go like. You're, it's almost like you're yeah, hitting but, your leg. But, but that's 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 like a trick you use. Some a lot of comics use that trick in terms of I'll see them like they'll grab the mic and then if the audience you know to yeah. manipulate the laughs they'll take the mic and then they'll hit it. They'll consciously oh. hit it on their. I, okay. That's not what I do. If it makes a hitting noise, it's it's a natural oh, thing that okay. I don't. That I don't do. So can I bring it to your attention when you do 1, it? One thousand percent. You okay. Can bring it to what my th- you know? Is there a one thousand yeah. percent? Yeah. There what, is what, 1, I mean, when did when did we go from one hundred to a thousand? Well, just like, I noticed you say a thousand percent a lot. A thousand percent. Just to to just oh. make it extremely clear that it's more. Oh. Than 100%. But then then we'll, we'll never stop. I mean, like, yeah, I'm thirty three thousand percent sure that you do do it. Yeah, but here's the thing. What's wrong with that? I mean, see. If you're a Mexican, you'd be able to relate a little bit more. But since you you're notice, Portuguese, I hit I hit 33. Yeah, because that's my Mexican percentage. Yeah, but the fact that you're only 33 means you don't totally get it. But if you're uh, more a little bit, you know, more hood, you understand. Uh, anyway, I'm not. I don't have to explain. To you. Oh no, the you old, do because the old everybody Johnny would have understood. 
Oh, yeah. The yeah. Old, the old By the way, everybody, Ruben is actually, he's, it bothers him because I was giving him street <laughs> creds because he's like, I have a Mexican friend. Yeah. And now you, you took it away from me. Man. Yeah. But now you have a port, you have a, a predominantly Portuguese friend. I don't know which, much about the culture, though, man. Maybe you should go to the Pismo Festa with me this year in August. Are you going to go for the first time? First time? Yeah. I've been going to that since high school. Do you go every year? Like, is it I try to make thing? every year, but I missed the last couple of years. And where where is it located? Pismo where? Beach. Pismo. Oh, okay. Yeah, man. So and they do the they do the it's the St. Anthony's uh, Festa. So, so they why, have the parade go, on Sunday. Uh, you were going because your friends were going at the yeah, time. Yeah, you and younger? you know what's really funny about that? <laughs> oh Some friends of mine came to see me in Vegas. Whisper out to Robin Williamson and his wife Pollyanna. We, I went to school with with Robbie. So, yes. Okay. So it was fun. He's white. He's just like a white dude. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were. They came to see me. At well, the maybe he's not. Maybe he needs well, to go do his test. Yeah. So get this. His his wife is full Portuguese, and we were talking about. They came to see me in July. This was a few about three years ago at the uh, Laugh Factory at the Tropicana. So I go, oh, I go, I'll see you, I'll see you there. I'll see you guys there at the, at the Festa in Pismo. And then she goes, why are you going? Yeah. And I went, what? <laughs> and then Robbie starts laughing and he's like, his mom's um, half. He's like a quarter. And then she's like, oh. And I went, yeah. I go, and besides, wow. anybody's like welcome you weren't there. welcome. Right. Wow. I go, we can, anybody can go to the Pismo Festa. It's, it's open to everybody and that's the whole thing of the soap issue is, is to so if i showed up they'd be like what are you doing here somebody would and now i realize that a bunch wow. of them were probably looking at me going wow. what why but i told you some of them wow. would give me a hard time and go man what's this mexican doing here at, the, at our festa again right so now you can go with your now i get to go dude. High. i'm gonna have my, my go portuguese I'm flag portuguese. i'm gonna dress like a soccer player i'm gonna be <laughs> killing it this time i'm gonna be like epa and ajajus and akarai that's what I'm doing. Oh, okay. So you guys are going to see me okay. at the Pismo Fresh. You know what? Maybe, maybe I need to reevaluate calling you Portuguese. This is starting to get on my nerves. It's starting to bother you it's now? To get on my, maybe I'm going to go back to calling hey, you. I don't know. This guy ain't no. good for shit, huh? <laughs> okay. The Haitian right. ain't good for shit. <laughs> ah, jesus. That's the accent. Uh, really? That's the Azorian accent. It's very specific. From the Azores. From the Azores? From the Azores. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to have to Google that and make sure. You, you don't need accurate. to Google it. I'll just, I'll sure go. Accurate. I'll tell you what I'll do. No, I'm going to, I'm going to Google it. No, I'm going to Google it and make you're sure not it's gonna accurate. Hear, you're going to hear, yes, you're going to Google uh, uh, a Portuguese accents. Absolutely. And, and, and yeah. it will come up. No, in English. Hey, you could you pull up Azorian accents? Yeah. Do you even know how to spell that, Chris? I don't even know. It's A-Z-O-R-E-A-N. All right, Chris, after, you know what? Me and Johnny are going to start tutoring you after, right. after the podcast <laughs> so you can get your GED. But anyway, um, I'll interview some of my friends. So you. Oh, sorry. What the hell that did was, you just do? That was a commercial. I apologize. Oh, no, that's geez. all right. I kind of like that. Anyway. All right. Uh, let's get on to with the with the podcast. Because yeah. I got to. So, but any, but uh, like we said. What? Uh, I found it. Oh, you, he found he found an Azorian accent. But in, in English? Yeah, it's going to be let's probably it. in let's Portuguese. Play let's play it. All right. Uh, let's play it. Let's see. Tudo bem. Eu tive há pouco tempo no continente e quando eu vou lá e falo com as pessoas, sendo eu Michelense, há sempre duas coisas que acontecem. Aquilo nunca falha. Turn it off. Começa a dizer so so when they, so when that person with that accent speaks English, English yeah, I, falo com as they go like this. Hey, ah, uh, ah, uh, João. That's what they that's John instead of Juan in Portuguese as João. Ah, uh, João. Ah, uh, what's the matter for you? What's, what's the matter for you? They all say that. What's the matter for you? They all say that? Well, most of them. Wow. You my really my friend's parents did. Okay. Let's make it specific. My friend's all... parents. I'd walk in. They'd go, ah, you're gonna give me a if, I meet, if I meet a Portuguese person, they go, what's the matter for you? And they'd, they'd be go, like, well, uh, they don't know you that well, but I mean. Oh, they don't know me that well. They're going to go, <laughs> they'll go, ah, ah, Ruben. It's <laughs> no, it's nice to meet you. You know, we know you know, you know Johnny, you're kind of you're kind of stuck in the middle between these two. Like, you don't speak Spanish and you don't speak oh Portuguese. God. And then how about this, <laughs> yeah. dude? And I'm 20 percent Spanish and I don't even speak it. I should know Portuguese, Spanish, and yeah. English at least three. You're not fluent in Hadian. Wow, wow, Hadian. Don't be Hadian. 
Really, Hadian? Oh, don't be Hadian. And you're, you're really embracing this? Hadian? No, I, I wanted to see. I just oh, love the It's Creole. Oh, that's right. You know, there's, a, there's a Haitian at the... Oh, you, you saw him last night, the Haitian Yeah, the oh, that was hilarious. Yeah, and he didn't even... He didn't, <laughs> we're, we're, yeah, they, he was already Americanized, right? Because he was already But it was funny to see Ruben go, oh, uh, Cesson. Yeah, I started speaking to him and he was like, hey, dude. Yeah, um, <laughs> not today, dude. You might want to talk to Will Sasso. <laughs> Ruben's yeah. oh, Cesson, oh, Cesson, oh, wah, wah. No, but <laughs> my thing is, um, when my parents were alive, I spoke fluently. You did? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you would have in the house, yeah, right? Yeah, in the, in the house because so my you father. Lost it? Yeah, because it's one of those things that you have to practice. Like I understand it fluently. Mm. Like if somebody's, mm -hmm. you know, if, if patients are having a conversation, I could literally understand every word. Oh, okay. But it's just hard for me to respond because I don't have that muscle. So yeah. they can they can have a full conversation with me in Creole, and I I can answer in English. It's just I can't always answer back in Creole because I, I forget I don't have I don't have any pr one to practice yeah, with. Is there any Haitian television? Not that I know of. Oh wow! We, I mean, I our community could, is not that big. You know what I mean? Yeah. Our community is not that big. Because if I were you, dude, I would get on. I would find some shows and listen so you can keep. Mm -hmm. I mean, it'd be good to to be able to be able to get it back and speak crayon as well as Creole. Oh, I thought it was crayon. No. Oh. Yeah. See how we Did talk. Did he say crayon? No. 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 So, Are no, you sure I about didn't. that? Okay. Yeah. So, oh, here's another word that I mispronounced. I said Creole. I didn't oh. say crayon. Oh. I did. Yes. Yeah, but see, that's your mesothelioma. <laughs> yeah. Up, Quit saying that. It's what? misophilia. Me oh, now, you <laughs> now I don't know what it is. Misophonia. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get for making up fake <laughs> conditions. <laughs> it's not fake. <laughs> you don't have it. Whatever, dude. Uh, I mean, we've rambled enough on this. I know. Look. Um, so, all right. Uh, we're going to talk about some. Yeah, we talked no, about we're, how great we're, the we're, show we're was. We're going to get serious now. Yeah, we'll get great serious. Great show. Now. By the way, it, it uh, Ruby Tuesdays is really, really a great show, man. It's, it's a fun it's show. always such a mix of people. It's it, Ruben does a fantastic job, man. Thank and it's you, nice man. having DJ, yeah. Luna, and every... I mean, it's just the vibe is a party. It's just a it's very great. diverse vibe that there's something for everybody when you come to the show. Yeah. You know, that's what I like about it. Like, it's always a mix. I mean, you look at it as um, just different styles of comedy. Mm, of course. Different ethnic backgrounds. And everybody's so mixed in there. Yeah. Um, and everything. I and I I like I say diverse. Mm -hmm. Ruben says diverse, but that shows the difference. It, it is it's diverse. I don't like the word die. I don't like to use it as, as little as as possible. Uh -huh. I don't like I don't like it in my okay. uh, uh, vocabulary. Right, I don't like it in my vocabulary. So I prefer diverse. Did you say vocabulary? Vocabulary, yeah. You know, you we can pronounce everything however we want. You know that, right? Because they changed the way the the pronunciations uh, right. are. It's not harassment okay. anymore; it's harassment. All right. Can you get, m make your statement and whatever? Anyway, very diverse crowd, and they're great. Um, so check out. Um, yeah, it's, it's every Tuesday. Check out Rubby Rubby Tuesdays every Tuesday. Really? At nine thirty. Rubby Tuesday. Wait, what? Ruby. Oh, Ruby, 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 Ruby. You might even hear some crayons. Oh, jeez. Anyway. Uh, you should learn some Portuguese, man. But I would love to have uh, somebody to practice with to, you know, just to hey, sharpen maybe up. I'll, maybe we'll fi I'll find a good Portuguese. Um, they're all in Artesia out here. Yeah. I know. The, I did. I did. Yeah, I did a we've show done at, the show. Yeah. Dude, I told you that story. Yeah. I come walking out and they expect me just to, it's some Mexican dude. They didn't know where I had all this material on Portuguese people. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, did we we did that show together, right? No, no not we the did. very first one. But I hosted oh, one. They brought hosted. me back to host. That's I right. Because I, I did one with um, was it? What, I can't remember. Was Mine was with Jimmy Schubert. The very first time I did it, with Schubert was closing. Yeah, I know we did it at some community center or something in Artesia. No, it's their hall. Their hall. The hall. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 What did I tell you? They're always at a hall, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. Portuguese people love halls. Yeah. But you should and not the mentholiptus. You, you, you should like immerse yourself a little bit more in the culture. I'm, I'm gonna, dude. You know, there's those those sketch guys, the Portuguese boys, mm -hmm. and they do great, man. They're like all over the place. And that's one thing um, I loved about going to Montreal too, because there's such a huge Haitian community there in Montreal. Um, oh, yeah. Just to be able to have conversations with you know, because you run into a lot of Haitians. Like most mm -hmm. black people, you see 
in Montreal are of Haitian descent. Yeah. So it was kind of cool to, you know. How would you embrace, like, if you saw that, when you walk by, do you, do you just, like, to, to see if they are Haitian, do you go, oh, oh, when they're walking by? Like, what's the thing? You know, Portuguese, I'm going to go, like, I'm going to go, epa, just I to can, check. I can, um, you just go, if, oh. If, if they're speaking English, I can tell from the accent um, ah. pretty quickly. Yeah. And then I'll go, I'll, I'll say in, in Korea, I'll say, hi, see you? And then they'll go, we. Oui. And then we'll just strike yeah. up a conversation. But the problem it's is, it's basically Cap- it's a it's a it's from Fr- it's fr- a French, French slang. slang. Yeah. Uh. So and even um, with my mom, because she spoke Creole and French fluently, oh. um, she helped me with my French also, which is the proper mm-hmm. quote unquote proper way to speak. Correct. So, um, but I lost I lost all. But that. you know what's interesting? Portuguese has that. Um, it's like a little bit of Spanish and a little bit of French sounding. When, with their accent, we we used to tell everybody, Portuguese is a, is Spanish with a mouthful of marbles, because that's really because it's 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 almost the same. Like my dad would always go, he he would always go, I know what those Portuguese people are talking about. Oh, because really? It's, yeah, because they do, you know, like like number like I think we talk. I may have, I may be repeating myself, but uno dos tres cuatro cinco in Spanish. In Portuguese, it's un dos tres cuatro cinco. You know what I mean? Oh. So similar. Okay. So my dad would always, he would always go, hey, they're, they're talking about this, they're talking about that. Yeah. He, he, he can get enough. I'm telling you, dude, um, to be able to understand a different language and to speak, and that's one thing I think in America um, that's very, I don't want to use the word inferior, but it's a thing like a lot of things that we lack in our culture, like around the world, most people speak multiple languages I know. I know, in america yeah. i mean some people are barely <laughs> they can barely <laughs> speaking english english and english is their first language yeah, exactly you know they're but not saying anything properly. you know but they try to put down all these like you know sometimes foreigners they try to put down foreigners uh, yeah. like these are people that know three and yeah. four languages That's you right. know the brain capacity that you yeah. have to have to be yeah. able to to that level of intelligence to be yeah. able to understand those words so right. Uh, my mom uh, used to always push me to uh, learn Spanish, which I w- wish I did. But she spoke French, Creole, Spanish, and English all fluently and can write and, you know, was able wow. to write in, you know, all the languages wow. also. Think about this, dude. Could you imagine trying to do your stand-up in Ugh. another language? In Like, I, I always think it's dope. Um when they do Spanish shows. Right. You know? Yeah. Them comedians like Felipe would do some. Um, yeah, he's fluent. Yeah. And uh, what's my man's name? Um, Cisco. Um, oh, Cisco used to do shows in, in Mexico. Sp- yeah. He would go to Mexico yeah, 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 City yeah, yeah, yeah. and do shows. Yeah, man. Um, I think that's amazing. And um, I, and it's great to hear Felipe and, and do his comedy in Spanish because they, como estas? Who? <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I saw Felipe... Uh, um, I did Godfrey's podcast. Oh yeah, whisper out to Felipe by uh, the way. with him, and we, we talked about you briefly. I told him about you being Portuguese. Now he fell out laughing. He did. Yeah, I think he said you might have mentioned that to him a long, a long time, time ago. ago. That yeah. I was a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you know, yeah. he and I used to do open mics together, man. He was. He was like. He, uh, he was like Ruben Paul. He's always had my back, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he doesn't forget anything. He doesn't. He told a story. That dude. Felipe does. said the funniest thing. The, the, one of the best insults I've ever heard. Uh, Felipe, um, or not just Felipe. One of the best insults I've ever heard a comic say to another comic came from Felipe. Felipe was like, hey, fool, you go everywhere once. <laughs> God, God. <laughs> you go everywhere Man, once hilarious we gotta have felipe on the show Dude, man you know he told I'm gonna hit, me I'm gonna hit him up. i forgot he yeah. goes this was j- i think it was when i did his podcast he's like you know you got me at the comedy store fool i went i did he goes yeah i asked you and put in a word and you did and then they booked me and they, i got a showcase uh-huh. <laughs> and he goes out. Oh, so thank you. Like all the, he had never brought that up to me. All I forgot, yeah, dude. Great, we I, I've done so many shows with Felipe over the years. Yeah. Um, just working all the Latino rooms. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because they would always. What was move the main from, one? Chihuahua? No, no, not Chihuahua. tortillas. Tortillas. Yeah, those tortillas. Yeah. That and then there was. Uh, I a couldn't gig. do that room just on the name alone. There was a gig in Southgate. Um, I can't even remember. Oh, the Gotham. Name. No, was that Gotham in Southgate? It was Montebello. That was Montebello. 
That was one of yeah. That was yeah. I mean, um, just so many. There were rooms. so many little rooms, dude, back then. Willie Barcini used to start them up. Yeah. Jeff Garcia used to start them up. Yeah, so man. I mean, we we ran in those circles for a while. But yeah, I just remember him telling like, "Hey, fool, you go everywhere once." <laughs> You know how bad a comic you have to be to never get invited to, to, anywhere, anywhere for <laughs> never a get second invited. time? You never get invited back. I wish I knew who it was. Uh, I'll tell I'm you gonna, when we get off oh, there. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I have this feeling. I think I know, but we'll find out. All right. All right. Yeah, anyway. Shout out to Felipe. But, um, so this, this is, the, this is the, 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 the nothing topic. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we just rambled on for damn near 30 minutes. But I mean, this is what our phone conversation is like. I know. I know. Um, so the Toronto Raptors uh, won the NBA championship. Mm. And um, uh, to all my uh, warrior friends out there, you, Johnny, you know I go to the Bay Area a yeah, lot. That's like course. a home away from yeah, home for me. Raiders, I yeah. do not, I'm a diehard. I'm L.A. all day. You guys know that. I'm, I'm Lakers, Dodgers, Raiders. That's, you know, right, for you guys who don't know, the Raiders used to be in yeah, L.A. They, yeah, they, when that's was, when you when really became. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So that's when I really became mm -hmm. uh, a Raiders fan. Right. I mean, I'd already like their image and everything, mm -hmm. but when they are the hometown team. Were you a Rams fan before that? No. Oh, okay. Ironically, I was a Dallas Cowboy fan when oh! I was a kid. I just threw I up in my mouth a little I bit, I threw dude. up in my mouth just saying it, dude. Yeah, it was horrible. What? Well, you got to understand, when I was a Star kid. Back? When I was, it, no, when I was a kid, the Cowboys were on TV oh. every Sunday. I you don't know. remember that? I mean, that's yes, why they quote unquote course. became I don't America's I don't, I hate team. Not uh, that's team. not true. They ain't won anyway, nothing in decades. The only people but, in Texas claim that, by the way. But um, yeah, a lot of times you're influenced by what you see. So if you're watch, if you're gonna watch a football game, <sighs> it was always the Cowboys. And yeah, I did like uh, Roger Ed, Staubach. Staubach, um, Ed Two Tall Jones. Yes. Yeah. Um, wow, dude. Yeah. So you were kind of like. You liked them well, until was, the Raiders got to L.A., which is the well, early, you early 80s? Yeah, I um, know. Um, Mid-80s? No, yeah. it was the early, early 80s. Early 80s. 83? Um, 80, 80, oh, I can't remember the exact year. but Because um, they won a, their second Super Bowl against the Eagles at around 82, 83. 80. It was, it was eight, 80. I think was it, was it 80? Yeah, it was like 80. But I, had li I, had liked, I, okay. I was liking them by then. When oh, they, you were kind of that. Yeah, they, I think they, that that with, Super Bowl was in New Orleans, if I'm not mistaken, um, and that was Plunkett. Yes, that was Plunkett. Yeah, so I, so I liked them a little bit before they moved. Okay. What happened was it was um, uh, I never liked the Rams, and okay. then my 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 cousin came from Haiti, uh, my cousin Ramses, and um, great name. Yeah, uh, and Ramses, he just uh, the, well, he had to like the Rams. No, he's named after him. He didn't like the Rams either. But oh, um, I guess the reason why I equate them um, being my team when they were here, I just remember him saying to me once, "Is like, why do, why do you like the Cowboys when you have a fucking team here?" Uh, and I go, "I don't like the Rams. They're fucking Raiders." <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. And that's how I. Um, then I was like, "You're right," because I never had that home. I I just never. I don't know. It was the, I was brainwashed by the television, so mm -hmm. I liked the Cowboys because they were on. Yeah, everything. God, damn. But once man. of all, but, the teams. but like, but once I was of age and really kind of understood it and hometown pride and all that stuff, then I was Raider fan ever since. Okay, then so even when they left to go to Oakland, right, right. you know, and see, I team. became a fan of them. I made the switch from the from 49ers. the 49ers because of your dad. Yeah. So a lot of times people are influenced, like. You'll ask somebody, why do you like this team? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, my dad, like Tony Rock is um, a New York oh, Mets fan right. and a um, Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Yeah. I remember you and I go, I was how like, do you Pittsburgh, like what? He's like, yeah. and then there's a story that's yep. connected to his dad and, you know, his family that why you like certain teams. The last game I, I went, had gone to as a kid, it's coming out here visiting my mm -hmm. cousin and my godfather, he took us to an Angels game. Oh, wow. And he bought me the bat. And I still have that Angels bat. So that, that kind of. And that for me, I just after that, I just went, oh, I'll just, you know, I'll just support the Angels. Yeah. And you shout out to my boy, Daryl Thomas. Uh, his father used to play for the Dodgers um, oh, wow. when I was a kid. And I remember him taking us on uh, like this field trip type thing. Some of the classmates to a Dodger game when we were kids. And um, but I've always I don't know. I'm just always Lakers, always Dodgers. And then grew into the Raiders. Yeah, because I used to say this thing, or this is this is on like this is with, with Mexicans mm -hmm. that it's um 
Uh, Lakers, Raiders, Dodgers, oh my. All right. Lakers, Raiders, Dodgers, oh my. You know what? That's it's offensive when you do it now. Oh, stop. Because you're Portuguese. Oh, you better. I'm still a third. (laughs) Anyway, congrats to the Raptors. Yeah, well, you know, but just talking about, like, that that pride that you have in your hometown team, I'm really happy for. I have a lot of friends in Toronto, and um, it's great to see them so happy, you know what I mean, mean, to have that moment. Like, since the Blue Jays, they haven't, you know. Okay, so here's my – so I don't know the history. I've been scratching my head about this for years. How is Canada playing in our professional sports when we're not playing in theirs? Are we? What do you mean? When you- it's, it's, we've got the Montreal Expos, mm-hmm. the Toronto Blue Jays. We, we had the Montreal Expos. Oh, see, they're not even around anymore? No. Oh, see, <laughs> they're, they're, they become the, the, the Washington team. They moved to Washington. Oh, they moved to Washington. Yeah. Okay. So this is how much... Because, yeah, I mean, I no, don't, no, this is what all, we're talking I mean, I haven't even learning. seen the yeah. Oakland A's on TV in, in ages. Uh, so, um, all right, so I don't even know. How, what, where did this all come about that Canada plays in our sports? In our leagues? Yeah, in our leagues. I just think in expansion, you know, one thing about uh, even – Look and see Even what's though, happening with like the NFL. Even though, like you said, there are Americans playing there. I, I just... Uh, but look at it from this aspect. I, I can't answer the question definitively, uh-huh. but look at the whole the whole thing with, with uh, NBA basketball and, and, uh, and the NFL is growing the brand. So that's why now you have games in London and you no, have games I in Mexico. But, but there's so no... So ultimately, uh, yeah. just to finish this point, yeah, 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 so yeah. ultimately, like going to London... They're hoping one day that they can gain enough interest in these places where they would want a team because I guess that's just more money and it broadens the game and and brings a bigger fan base to it. Okay, but we do not have – but there's no NFL team in Canada. Not yet. They have their own. They have their their own league. Yeah, their own league. But that's what I'm saying. But I'm sure one day – Why aren't the Buffalo Bills in their league? Maybe there's, you know, they don't see any economic benefit from doing it right now. Well, who knows? Okay, so someday we're gonna have the, you know, you, but you gotta, we're gonna have the Zacatecas but you got, Aztecs. But you, you gotta, you, but you have to look at it from a from this oh perspective. Um, baseball and basketball have always been international games, and because they played them all the way. And hockey, right? Yeah. Those are games like soccer. Those are games that they play all over the world. Because Edmonton is in hockey. The Edmonton Leafs, what are they? Edmonton Oilers. Oilers, see. Yeah. But that's another. So, so far, NFL is the only one, the, the one sport that's keeping it in, here in the U.S. There's no, there's no Canadian team in the NFL. Not yet. Uh, first of all, I don't even want to hear not yet. Why? Let's Why just are you so anti-Canadian? I don't like that idea of having te- – uh, yeah, I, that but it irritates me. Why does it irritate you? It just, it's so it's does our – So do the Raptors irritate you? I mean, I uh, I was glad to see the Warriors go down, but at the same time I'm <laughs> like, really? Canada? Yeah, but again – Wins the NBA <laughs> championship? I mean, that's great. Uh, I think it's it, great. I think it's great. I think it expands interest. Okay. Like think about Vince Carter, the basketball player Vince Carter, Vince Sanity. Do you remember? Do you I remember, remember him? Lynn Sanity. Okay, it started with Vince. Whisper Carter. out to PK, by the way. Start out with Vince. Vince Carter. He went to the University of North Carolina. He's probably one of the best slam dunkers in the dunking contest ever, and one of the best in-game dunkers ever. Also, you should look up Vince Carter if you don't know. Okay. It's really entertaining to watch him uh, dunk the ball. But when when Toronto opened up the uh, when when the NBA opened up a franchise in Toronto, Je- and and Vince Carter was one of the top players in the NBA at that time, you have a whole generation of kids now making it to the NBA and being able to fulfill that dream simply because of Vince Carter. They hmm. saw him; they're influenced by him. And now when you see these uh, Canadian players you know um get interviewed they go hey how'd you find your love for oh man vince carter man vince sanity because that's somebody that they saw up close and personal that was in their country 
that they emulated. Now R.J. Barrett, who might be the second or third pick in the draft, the NBA draft, he's Canadian-born. There's other Canadian-born players now who are killing it. Tristan Thompson from the Cleveland Cavaliers is from Canada. Like Vince Carter spawned that. And it's, it's kind of what we talked about on another, another podcast about images. Mm-hmm. Just like as a, as a black man or a Latino or, or even Portuguese, whatever, if you see people who look like you mm-hmm. are from where you come from doing something, it makes you go, hey, maybe I can, I can do that. Uh, okay. You know what I mean? So that's I think that's a, a cool thing because now you never – when you thought about basketball, you never thought of great basketball players from Canada. Mm-hmm. Now, sorry to bust the little Canadian bubble to Ronald Bubble right now. Your best players are still American. Without Kawhi Leonard, there's no championship, and he's from L.A. So, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, how many how many Canadian-born uh, people are uh, uh, players are playing on the Raptors? Actually, uh, I don't think there's any, but um, why don't you Google that, Chris, and find out? And that was my only thing. It's like I'm really, really happy. Yeah, I mean, for the I Raptors mean, yeah, me and, too. I mean, and them. But my whole thing was some of a couple of my com- Canadian friends are starting to get a little anti-American. Mm-hmm. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. You're welcome, because <laughs> you wouldn't have won the championship yeah. without Americans on your team. K- Kyle Lowry is from Philly. Kawhi Leonard. Is from LA. Mm-hmm. You take them off the team, no championship. Mm-hmm. And I don't even think there are any Canadian born players. Okay. So this isn't like the Olympics yeah. where right. it's country versus country. You got it. You know, and yeah. I know they wanted to make it like that, which is which is fine. There's no knock. You should have pride and I think it's great that that uh Canada does have an NBA a champion, but don't try to shit on America or don't try to put us right. down. Yeah. Because it's not like you want it. Now if you'd have won it with all Canadian born players, then you could have some yeah, anti-American sentiment. Yeah, I got it. Okay, but it's a mix of players. That was kind of what I was world. wondering: was there, are there any got any Canadian dudes? Because I, I don't, I didn't know enough. Did, so, I found, uh, so Chris just pulled it up. Uh, let me just put it on screen. Uh, so, according to Wikipedia, the current one is uh, it, it Chris Butcher. Oh, uh, he really killed it in the finals. Yeah, so not. <laughs> He's the only one. Oh, yeah. wait, no. And Corey, no, he's, he's no longer on there. Oh, he's he's not even on there. No. Now. He's actually said not. <laughs> That's the only one I can find. So, hey, shout out to the Raptors winning. But yeah. we did this together, guys. Yeah. We did this together. Yeah, man. <laughs> and Don't you even have up. Serge Ibaka and – um. Uh, Siakam, you know, those are both mm. African players yeah. on the team. Then you had uh, Mark Gasol, the Spaniard yeah. on the Spaniard, team. Spaniard. So it was a very hey, international man, team. to my Spaniard. Oh, I am geez. 21%. Oh, really? 21%. Hola. Oh, jeez. Española. That's probably all you know. Whatever. <laughs> but, um, I, I, but I do think it's, it, you know, getting back to the whole thing of I do think it's, it's cool to see other countries – get involved in the in the nfl i wouldn't be surprised if one day mm. you know they are in europe i know that's one of their goals and even the nba man that's why they're always in like china yeah. and and that you know japan weird, and man. all these because they're trying to grow the brand it's all about global marketing when you go to china dude i think it was in shanghai there is a mural of kobe bryant on the on the side of this building man that is enormous and he's so famous over there lebron james yao ming is huge Mm. in china wow so you know there again you see with yao ming the influx of chinese players started coming into the league now there's not a there's not a bunch yeah but you know there were others that came into the league after yao ming because there's something so that's why images are so powerful and you know, I think a lot of times, you know, white Americans take it for granted because they've always had images on there. So sometimes they might be like, what's the big deal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like, yeah. it is a big deal when you grow up not seeing people who look like you do great things. You know, that's so weird. I hear this. I hear people always say, well, I, you know, whether it's a female or um, Asian female or Latina, fe- whatever, or male, anybody that mm-hmm. goes, oh, I didn't really have anybody to look up to or I'm doing this so that kids it's weird dude I never that never got into my head it did for, I, I, I just would go oh I'm gonna do that 
I want to be like Richard Pryor. It didn't. It uh, uh, a race or anything. Didn't, yeah, it didn't. didn't get in my. I never thought like that. Like, oh well, if I want to, I'll I'll be a race car driver. There's I don't care if there's that, not that, nobody that doesn't that, look like me. That probably has a lot to do. Um, what is with that? where with where you're raised, or whatever. I guess Maybe. being being Haitian, there was always like this inferiority that you felt mm. like we okay. I want wasn't as good okay. as anybody. You know, my my family was different, and you know, a lot of times when you're a kid, you know, you take different as bad. I think even in society, like different is just different. Yeah, but it doesn't right. necessarily Me. mean inferior or superior sure. in any direction. So, I just think a lot of times when you're in a situation and the self-esteem is low. You're looking for pride. You're looking for things to make you go, hey, I can do that. Wow, I've never seen anybody look like it's like Obama becoming president. Now, you can say what you want about his politics or whatever, but just aesthetically, just to be Dude, able to see yeah, a black yeah. man and then, and then, uh, in, in the Oval Office. And you know how I mean? about, you know, now the, the, the what is that? Like, a po you know, those the posters of, of all the presidents? Mm-hmm. To finally have out of a black a, face, dude, out of, it's you, crazy. Out of when you, all the presidents, when you in really all the look, years, yes, this is the. And first. you go, wait a minute, this is the American. Yeah, this is the poster of every American president. It's so crazy to yeah. see that. So now, as a now as a parent, you know, talking to your child, yeah. that is you, you an say, option now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at Russell Peters in comedy, like the Indian comedians uh -huh. now, you know. And he's influenced, uh, you know, comedians all, th you know, of course, Southeast Asia is where the Indies is. Yeah, um, right. But Asia in general, yeah. you know, there's a lot of comedians that were influenced by Russell Peters. Why? Because they saw somebody different. Mm -hmm. They had never seen an Indian, mm -hmm. you know, comedian doing comedy. It's like, oh, well, maybe I can do that. Hey, I have similar experience in that. I grew up just like this guy. So now yeah. they can tell their yeah. their story. Right. You know, just so I just think it's it's powerful when things are first and what they can do for a country or a culture or a race or or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't, you know, even when we talked about the thing with uh you know, the black dolls with 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 B. Oh yeah. You know? Right. Just to be able to, you know, have that option now because a lot of black girls didn't grow up with that option right. so they grew and up we thinking, had the ken dolls yeah dude that's all we had but so you know, if that's if this doll is supposed to be the norm and telling you what beauty mm -hmm. is and all you're seeing is white dolls then psychologically is telling you that only white is beautiful right that's why the you know i do that joke about um how the media influences beauty in our country, you mm -hmm. know, which does come from truth. When you watch it, if all the models and everything that you see, every image of, you got to be a size zero yeah. to be considered beautiful. Right. You got to have blonde hair, blue eyes mm -hmm. to be considered beautiful. That's the furthest thing from the truth. Like beauty comes in all different yeah. sizes, shapes, and colors. And isn't you know? it interesting now that they're using? You see these models now that, that well, first of all, they're the shape, they're shape, the full, full size, full, full, full figure also, models. How, or yeah, full figure. Yeah, but also they're, they're which is beautiful. How about these the, the one the models that now have, which I always like. You know how much I like freckles. Yeah, and now they have these models and they got full. I mean, full face of freckles, man. Yeah. Which, which 20, 30 years ago. They wouldn't have been considered for magazines. Things or anything need to like change, man. Just... Things need to evolve because what we're finding is like a lot of those images are damaging. Yeah. You know, they hurt little girls. That's why even you know. In well, the... how do you think I felt uh, my whole life? Tall, dark, and handsome. That's all I heard. Tall, dark, oh, and hand. Oh, he's so geez. tall. Oh my God. And every husband. I know we went over this. But still, it it's not the, reality when you have the husband taller than the wife every single time. It is not reality. Okay. And they want to be heightest here in Hollywood? Good. But guess who ain't giving in? Me. And when I have my <laughs> sitcom, my wife's going to be taller than me in the sitcom. Take well, that. <laughs> Sanchez out. Oh, Epa. Geez. Oh, really? Epa at the end of it? <laughs> You annoy me so much no, sometimes. But here's the deal. But seriously, <laughs> how do you think it feel? How do you think it makes? The, Chris knows what I'm talking about. Everything's about the tall male. The tall, Chris, oh, what are you? So, what are you? Four <laughs> eleven? I know. I'm. Uh, I'm yeah. five. Uh, All right. You, three said, you three, know what, Chris? Five, yeah. You, this is what we're gonna do. Um, 
we're gonna have to get a button for that microphone that me and Johnny control, and we will <laughs> let you know when you can. Oh, chime like in. in the in the studio, yeah, when they're recording. <laughs> the guy goes, uh, uh, "Can we do that again, please?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's gonna be on the opposite. Yeah, it's gonna be on the opposite side, you know, because I don't know. I mean, sometimes a nod. It's, it's fine for me and Johnny. We don't actually need to hear By the it. way, you know what I wanted to do? You know what I want to do? I don't know if I should say this on here. I mean, he can take it out if we have to. Yeah. You know, those those. there's always a scene in movies, whether it's the Wild Bunt, whether it's the Magnificent Seven or Reservoir Dogs, with the dudes walking in slow motion. Uh-huh. And I've always wanted to do that. But I'm realizing, I, here's what I wanted to shoot. About five of us guys, all everybody's under 5'6". Okay, <laughs> and we're walking. Now it's gonna look great at first. Uh-huh. We're walking in slow motion. You can't really tell. But and then, then the camera pulls, pulls back. back, and then there's <laughs> taller guys pointing and laughing at us. <laughs> How great would uh, wouldn't that be a great little scene to shoot? Just music, badass music, slow motion. We look like badasses. Until they pull back and we're walking past taller dudes that are all pointing and laughing. That could be funny. And that's the point. Yeah. They would never do anything like that in Hollywood. They wouldn't use the short guys. How come the action hero... You know what? Action heroes have not always been tall, though. No. Van Damme. Bruce Lee. Stallone. Mm -hmm. Bruce Lee. uh, Arnold. Arnold's tall. Tom Cruise is not tall. Tom... Damn. Why didn't I get into action? I should have been an actor. Yeah, 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 I, but they're they're normal height, dude. You're Van Dam was like five seven, bro. You're five five. Those two inches make a difference, man. But Bru- what like, was Bruce you Lee? Imagine you, five seven. Could you imagine uh, like you try to fight somebody and they just put their hand out? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> you just swing your arms and they just hold you at arm's distance. <laughs> you go, hi ya. <laughs> oh, oh hi ya. <laughs> what year is this? I don't know. Uh, it just uh, seems uh, like you'd uh, say hi ya. I'm, I'm doing the uh, live action version of Hong Kong Fui. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. You know what? On that, yeah. I'm going to do I'm going to do some action stuff. Oh, really? Cuz you know I got the skills. I got the wrestling and boxing skills. I don't need to do the kicks. Right. Matter of fact, sorry uh last night to uh whisper out to Bill Dawes who tried to put me in a jiu-jitsu move, but wrestling always wins. Nice try, Bill. Uh, not all the time. Well, I got out Be of that careful quickly. careful with those jiu-jitsu guys, man. I know they're sneaky. They're like <laughs> boa constrictors. Man. They are like boa constrictors, aren't they? You know, I was thinking about pythons, you know, diving in and taking a little jujitsu. I wish I could, but I'm falling apart. My hips are hurting. My back's, uh, I don't know what's going on with me, but I wish I could. You're falling apart? I'm falling apart. But yeah, you want to be an action star? (laughs) 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 See, that's Johnny. Johnny always is like, eh, well, you know, actually, I I can't, you know, my hips. Well, that's what the stunt guys are for. (laughs) They all use, most of them use stunt guys, except for Tom Cruise. Even, um, um, what what's the dude's name? Um, Vin Diesel. No 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 no. Remember when Vin the was movies complaining with Chris Tucker, about the Asian it. dude? That, uh, oh, Jet Jet. No, that's not Jet Lee. Jet Lee. The, the, Jackie, Jackie Chan. Chan. Yeah, he's not tall either. I, exactly. Yeah, but the, I think so they're I gotta, all taller than you though. A Jackie Chan, it's close. How tall is Jackie Chan? Five uh, six, Chris? I'd say. Top. And you don't have to chime in with and say it. You can. Yeah, just, he can chime. No, no, you could. You could. Chime what? In. Five nine. Oh. Yeah, dude. So I'll be the have... first. No, man. So that's some like we were talking about. So no. some short dudes would be like, What? Johnny Sanchez? The star of uh, you know, um A. I just got an idea. <laughs> oh God. I when hate you the do, fact that you got excited w- about When those. you do the reservoir uh dogs thing, mm-hmm. you gotta have Brad Williams in it with you. Yeah, that or would that. be hilarious. But that 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 gives it away. That no, takes away. No, close up, man, because you guys are. We're not even cl- nearly close. I'm gonna pull him up. Brad is like three one. Is he that short? I would say he's three one. I'm just and I'm just, I'm just throwing a. I'm throwing I'm throwing a dart oh, he's with four, my. Four. He's four four. Oh. Yeah. He is taller than I thought. <laughs> He's four four. <laughs> oh, what a dick! <laughs> he doesn't seem four four. I definitely thought he was in the threes, didn't you? Yeah. See. 
Yeah, man. Wow. Quit hating on my boy Brad. Damn, he's four shout four. Out, shout out Brad Williams, Whisper out man. to Brad. By the way, I got a great name for a special for him, but I ain't going to say it. I ain't going to give it well, to you, him. Well, you'll tell him. What, I mean, mm, hopefully, maybe one day. No. Nah. But I'm not even going to do that. But no. uh, getting, getting back to the uh, the expansion of, of these teams, um, it's interesting that you say you wh- – what is the reason why you wouldn't want to see an NFL team in from Canada? From London or, or – In Canada or, or, or London. Canada. Or, oh, it's just so it, – it, I feel like especially uh, NFL, especially football, me, it's but, our sport. But here's the problem. And it, uh-uh, here's it the, stays here, man. Here's the problem with American culture, though. When you win the Super Bowl – or the NBA championship. NBA championship, you kind of say it because we'll just dist- our N- NBA teams will destroy anybody all over the world. Right. And basketball is a real international sport. But it's always weird when they go, "We're the champ. We're the world champ. Yeah, world Series. We're the- yeah, world, world series. series. Like get Japan in there. Get some of these other countries in there. That but play. wait a minute, get though. Cuba in there. At Cuba. Yeah. But but here's the thing. The, all, all it is is the Super Bowl. That doesn't say it's it's the World Bowl. It doesn't no, no, say no. The World I Bowl. know they don't say, but when you when when you talk to the players or you talk to them, you're like, yeah, oh, it's great to win another World Championship. And it's oh, like, I see what you're, you're saying. You're not yeah. playing the World. Dude. Yeah, I don't like I don't like World. But it being would, in there. but it would be dope if you did play against the World. I, th- I think it would be dope, man. That's why do you think the Olympics are so big? Why people really love oh the God, Olympics? Because it's Olympics. you love the Olympics more than I love the Olympics. Yeah, I know, man. You know, I'm crazy for the Olympics, man. Because there's a national yeah. pride in that. So you, so you think it should be called the American Series Championship? The well, baseball in baseball. I would just because yeah, it's world just, is that's a big. But but I think with baseball. Well, especially now, but even back then it wasn't like that. It wasn't like it was all inclusive. Now I can buy it a little bit more because you do have players from all over the world in Major League Baseball uh, now. That's true. Got a lot of Japanese players, mm-hmm. got a lot of Dominican players. Dominican, you have yeah, Cuban. Yeah, yeah. Like there's yeah. you know, players from all over the world. That's true. Now. So Okay. And and then the assumption yeah. is you have the best players from every country all playing in our okay. league. So I can buy that a little bit, but you're right. It is probably a straight stretch to call it the World Series because you're not actually playing against the world. So even in in football or basketball, they go we're world champs. And basketball, yeah, who you know is a team from Korea going to beat you know the Toronto Raptors or the Golden State Warriors or okay besides you know, any of Can- our great teams besides Canada, who else is playing football? That's why they're trying to grow the game. That's what I mean. Yeah, I that's why they're I trying to grow the dude, game now. I just, I, and I know other London, countries are... England, are, it's like, they're, it's it's their football. I mean, you know what I mean? They're, we call soccer. That's I just don't see anything coming in. I mean, rugby. Who does rugby? Australians. And there's a lot of European teams yeah, that do rugby. I know they play rugby in Africa You know. Also. Oh, yeah, Parts yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right, so... Um, so... How many countries play rugby, Chris? Look that up. Yeah, um, I've had this argument with other with other people who have been like, "Oh, you the, argue that the, the, that rugby players would no, Johnny, you argue that r- rugby players the transition they'd be way better than football players." And I well, I disagree. I think it's the other way around. There was one rugby player that that tried out for the, that made the Niners team. I think he was trying out. Yeah, for but the to team. me, uh, first of all, the way that the NFL players hit literally launching their bodies. Yeah. Uh, I don't think that the rugby players are used to that, Mm -hmm. but I do know, I feel like they have the the toughness though. Yes. They got the toughness, but you got to remember, dude, they're not launching their bodies. They're tackling. Yeah. You know, there's a watch the rugby games. Yeah. There's a rugby team um, in New Zealand. I actually bought one of their jerseys called the the blacks. Yeah. Um, so I'm looking at Wikipedia right now, and it says New Zealand, Ireland, Wales, England, South Africa, Australia, Argentina, Scotland, Italy, France. Second uh, could tier. You just, could, there's you like a lot. You should have counted that out and then just told us a number. Please. Okay. Well, it's, it's a lot of teams. Okay. That play what Thank again? Rugby. rugby. Oh, rugby. Okay. So don't you feel like the, the NFL players could easily make that transition into rugby? Because we all started playing tackle football as kids. Not – Pads. No, no, I don't mean. You yeah, know, like out on the out playing on the, murder ball. We uh, yeah. when I think of, uh, of uh, rugby, I think of murder ball. Murder yeah, ball was throwing a game. up the ball. Yeah. And then, oh, we called it smear the queer. 
guys didn't call it smear the queer. You call it smear the, you're smear the queer. <laughs> you guys, oh my God. We would throw, you throw up the ball and then he catches it and everybody just dog piles. And smear, smear the queer, the, dude. That's so offensive, well, We don't know. We were kids. Oh my Where did it come from? <laughs> An adult told you guys that. Probably Who taught you guys that. came what up with smear the yo, queer let me tell you, why. That's something, yo, and I'm going to have to talk to some of my friends. Never. What do you guys call it? Murder ball. Boy, that's not... Uh, Stereotypical? Bad, stereotypical of uh, Carson and Compton at all. Hey, man. We played Smear the Queer. Ruben played Murder Ball. That's what we ball. said. We called it, yo, let's go play some Murder Ball. Because um, basically, he's like, yo, I'm a mur- uh, Yo. Yeah, like, I get it. Yeah. Why is that certain? Certi- like, how'd you do last night? Murdered. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Murdered it. Murdered dude. it. Slayed. Slaughtered. <laughs> killed it. Killed it. Oh, I hate when comics. <laughs> oh, killed it. Man, I killed it. I'm always like, shit. man, I had a good I set. Killed that. I had a great, whatever. I, I had fun. I yeah, had good I had fun. Oh, they were good. They're good. How about when, this is my favorite quote from Richard Pryor. That one of his friends said he would, I think, I, I'm probably repeating myself, but who cares? He literally was killing it and murdering it. And he came off the stage in the main room at the comedy store. And one of his friends, this is coming from his, mm-hmm. he said, damn, Richard, you killed it, man. And he's all, uh, I'll get him next time. That's what every comic should be saying. I'll yeah, get him next time. Yeah, but you'd come off like an arrogant asshole if you said that. I'll get him next time? If you That's great. if you had a great set and I'm like, yo, dude, great set, I'm like, nah, I'll get him next time. You'd be like, this motherfucker, really? Really? I'll get him next time. Dude, you got a standing ovation. <laughs> I, I did. Did you guys see that? He said, uh, we seven stood people, him up. Seven people stood up. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> These are things that some kind of I don't do. think that that's I, I if, man, if you I had a great like, set, dude, I would be like no, Johnny dude good for you thinking you that would way. give me so much shit if you was like Rube great set I was like ah oh, man I'll get him next time no like, what uh-uh. I'd be like you did do great but I get it I get it you you want to better no, yourself uh-uh, I'm not buying that not from you Yes, no, from me. No, you'd be like, come on. You always give me shit when I go, I, I don't know, man. I didn't like him that. And you're like, what? I still could give you a hard time. I I like when you, I don't dislike it when you say it, though. Oh, you enjoy when I. No, feel like I just I feel like. I'm never, very, I'm to be honest with you. I mean, there, there are nights where you just feel like. I have every, fun is what I say when yeah, I have a great set. I don't say I killed it. One thing that I've learned. And comics out there, stop saying you killed it, by the yeah, way. It's, it's Especially annoying. when you don't know what killing, killing is. is. Like this half is, of them don't really have, know yeah, what killing is. They have a decent set. Yeah. There's little pockets in there, and they walk off going, did you see that, dude? I killed it. Murdered. murdered. Just no, you didn't. don't let other people tell you you killed, murdered, slayed, slaughtered, destroyed. Yeah. Okay? Let other comics tell you that. Yeah. That should never leave your mouth. <laughs> but you know they, they do and I'm going to start punching p- comics in the back of the head if I hear them say it and you probably what I might <laughs> they don't see it coming no but anyway I, you know um, no that is a great thing that, that prior said but it, it came from a different place now with just you know the egos and pat people patting themselves on the yeah, back which yeah, is fine because sometimes you have to encourage yourself I get it um, but I just look at I don't put as much stock as I used to when I first started because I know I have a clear understanding that every set is different. Mm, yeah. So I just try to do you just I just literally try to do the best that I can every time. And some nights are better than the other. But when you get to a certain level, even your bad nights are going to be for, from our perspective of what we hold ourselves the standard we hold, hold ourselves to is still going to be good. Yeah. yeah. You know, unless you just totally eat it. Yeah, and those right. sets is like, oh, they hated me. And you, <laughs> and yeah. you know me and you, yeah. you go, yo, how were they, man? Like, oh, dude, they loved you, but they hated me. Mm. You know, and there's sometimes where a crowd just doesn't yeah, get you. Yeah, remember that happened not long ago when I said, how did it go last night in Long Beach? Oh, and you were man. like, no, they, 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 they hated me, man. They didn't like me. And you're they like, didn't... what? They were laughing when I went out. Yeah, just... when I walked out. And that's yeah. a comment. You can get through a set where you yeah. don't but bomb. I, but, like, but, I don't, but I don't. You didn't have fun on that, yeah, that, that set. That's yeah, that's how I equate it. Yeah. Did I have fun, fun or didn't I have fun? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just at a point now where it's very 
tough for me to bomb. Right. Of course. You know what I mean? And when we mean bomb is like no laughs, boo, get off the stage. I'm gonna be Next. a certain yeah. yeah we don't yeah. I'm gonna be a certain level of entertaining and good mm-hmm. every time I touch that mic. That's what I believe. Yeah. So when I'm doing a show and it just feels like work, mm. like you're just like oh, like jokes those. you'd get an applause break on now and, and they're not they're barely responding or whatever. Yeah. And then you have your pockets of laughs here. Then you go up and go, ah, that wasn't my crowd. You know they what's so really, funny, dude? They weren't really into I it. can always kind of tell. And I know there's certain bits, but specifically when I do the thing with the Indian family and then the mom goes, you know what? I'm telling half. you, he's half. Yeah. If the audience doesn't laugh at that, I already know there's things that they're not like, they don't even get that. But Johnny, I, I know what you're saying. And I, I do agree with you, but isn't it weird? I've had this happen. And maybe because I do shows overseas, sometimes you go, Oh, they didn't laugh like that. Then they're going to hate the rest of this joke. Right. And then you're going through it and then mm. it ends up popping mm, yeah. at the, at the at, end at and you go, different. and you go, Hmm. All right. Well, I guess cause, cause what can happen is, and you, you do this and I've done this too, is if, if a part of the joke doesn't get the re- reaction, you know, okay, it's, if they didn't laugh at that, it's going to be down here. We switch subjects. And just like we'll yeah, go to chop some, it up, we'll cut, just cut chop it up, it up and then cut it, go to yeah. someone's like I'm not even going to waste my time and do this other part because they didn't get uh, that's this true. part. And we're judging them. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, we're yeah, judging yeah, them, yeah. and that's fair, I guess, for yeah. us to do. But sometimes, you know, it's it would be interesting to just stay in it to see. Mm-hmm. But I'm, I'm sure most time we go like I knew I shouldn't have. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have be, did the other there's part. Gonna be those, yeah. There's going to be that stuff too. Yeah. Exactly. But you know, um, uh, I just you know I got back from the stir crazy. Uh, oh, how was your club. weekend there? Great, man. That's a great club, by the way. If you Tell guys, people where you any, were. Yeah, I was at the Stir Crazy Comedy Club. So anybody out in Why that Why don't you Arizona- promote your shows, dude? Like even on uh, IG, you didn't post anything about Yeah, I did. Late. I mean, like a flyer. Like we need to start getting you flyers made to post for the shows and stuff. Yeah, I did. I re. I took the uh, the... The photo from the website. From the website. And I just reposted it. it. Yeah, 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 I did. I did. But if anybody is out there, man, because Tom Sims, the owner, is, um, you know, he's a comic too, man. So he runs that. It's a a comedian's club, man. He runs. Dude, no drop checks. Really? No drop checks. Except for people that are paying cash, which is only maybe two, three people. And that's not even every night. Oh, okay. He's got the system down, man. So, so no drop checks for the comics, and and, and it's run right. The people there, because it's been there a year and a half. It's in Glendale, Arizona. Mm-hmm. The, everybody gets get get the rules. They get everything. It's yeah. everybody stays calm. Dope. There's no right. It's good. A, go support Stir Crazy, man. It's a cool. great comedy club, yeah. and that's in Glendale. Right? That is in Glendale, in Arizona. Glendale. And I'll yeah. and then well, I'll plug it when it gets closer today. But I'll be in you Arizona. Be back in, uh, at the House of Comedy uh-huh. in August, I believe. I gotta look at my calendar. But anyway, um, my man, it's, it's good to be back. And uh, yeah, again, um, now uh, basketball season is over, and it's uh, now we're getting ready for. I'm not, I'm not too thrilled about Hard Knocks, but you maybe you made me feel a little bit better. I just didn't want other teams watching what Gruden's doing, but Ruben's like they'll keep that out. So um, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not. They never give away it, that stuff. But it is. I enjoy watching. I've never watched Hard Knocks with my team. So it's going to be a little different. I know. Because we have a vested interest in rooting. Um, and, you know. Last year, uh, it was the Browns. Browns, yeah. And, you know, Ryan and Ashley, Whisper out to Ryan and Ashley Dalton, by the way. Um, well, they're I, from Cleveland. And so they, they loved, loved it, it, man. I'm, I'm the, actually looking forward to it okay. because, you know, I've just never. First two games of the year is uh, Denver and Kansas City, man, Dude, right out the box. We, and by the way, so everybody knows ahead of time, uh-huh. they have the toughest schedule yeah. this uh, this season. Because, you know, after the first two home games in September, the Raiders aren't back at home until November. That's insane. They don't wow. have a home game until November. Yeah, they dude. play their first two home games, and then they're gone. Because they play in London, mm-hmm. and then you know they're, they're out, out on, on, the, on the road. But dude, it's like I mean, I really was hoping for at least an eight and eight season. But they got a tough ass a tough. schedule. But man. I think we have a really good team. It just it just uh, a, depends on it, how quickly they gel together. Four quarters. Yeah, we we played great. Three great quarters last season. Mm-hmm. We got to play four. Yeah, that's it, man. What last season? Last season we sucked. 
That's because we played. No. Oh, I, you're we talking about in, during the game. During the oh, game. Oh, we yes, were yes, in, yes, we yes. We're in, the we're games, in a lot of games. Dude, yeah, absolutely. For three quarters. And then it was. It was it, such a learning curve last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and by the way, you know Gruden's got something to prove now, man. Oh, absolutely. I mean, after a and season we, like and that. And now he's starting to get his players in that That's fits right. his system yeah. and the yeah. type of character. They talk a lot about character in the locker room, mm-hmm. the type of guys they want in there, players that want to be there. So I'm excited. And I'm excited for the people of Oakland. I hope they have a great year this year because the Warriors are leaving and going to That's right. San Francisco yeah. and then the Raiders are moving to Vegas so it would be nice to give them a nice send off since I, the Warriors I, couldn't get it done I, that'd be great yeah. yeah and remember commitment to excellence Guys, all right. What are you so, breathing about? Yeah, because he knows now. It's not just me. He went. See, Chris, Shh. when you do it, everybody thinks like, "Oh, what do you give Johnny such a hard time?" It's like, you don't know commitment Johnny the Nat Sanchez to excellence. <laughs> commitment. Your puns are so annoying, man. Hey, I made up a joke. Okay. Can I get, you know, I like bad dad jokes. Those, they're funny. Yeah. And every now and then I'm like, I'm going to make one up. So here's my um, bad dad joke. Okay. What does a barbecue grill take when it has aches and pains? What does a barbecue grill take for its aches and pains? What? Ibuprofane. Ibuprofane. Not ibuprofen. Ibuprofane. So that means a gas grill. Yeah, a gas grill. So you should have said, what does a gas Oh, God, grill? really? Who's anyway. using charcoal anymore? <laughs> By the way, whisper out to Haiti because North Carolina is the home of barbecuing in america and that it was because the settlers went to haiti saw them cooking meals under a fire came back brought back barbecue from haiti that's what's so whisper, up oh man that's yeah did you, man, did you know that no i didn't know that man see see this is the best of everything it is the best of everything but thank you guys for listening and uh and watching uh you can get this episode uh on iTunes, Google Play, YouTube, YouTube, and let me know about the shirt. Other, should I? Other, should I? Yeah, make and let Johnny know about the shirt. Seriously, for you guys who can actually see it. But it's can Jack you Nicholson, uh, you know, from from uh, The Shining, saying, "Here's Johnny," and then underneath Johnny in parentheses it says Sanchez. I think that's a cool shirt to sell. You can make some money, man. Never thought about this. Yeah, you should. And you don't sell any merch on the road, which is insane I, to me. I don't, but I've been wanting yeah, to do, I've been wanting to do koozies. But I don't want to okay. be I don't want right. to be in love with the bit. You know you have to nah, do, uh-uh. I, I don't want to do a bit. I just I saw a, a a shirt that's been doing great and it just says Woo Bit. Woo Bit. But that you have to do that bit. No, I don't. You, well, I mean, it's kind of a part of you're going to do it anyways, what yeah, you're I'm saying. Gonna, I don't it's, like it's a part of you. Well, you know, I have the Woo Bit bit, but now I mean, it's just one where my dad used to call me Woo. Like, just it's always going to be it's there. It's always going to be there. So, because people actually call me that now. Because I struggled with people who told me you have to do Juan Star mm-hmm. and you have to, and you should do T Max. But mm-hmm. those bits are gone yeah, you don't now. Go, yeah, but that I get those that because bit those bits. are bits. Bits. This is I don't literally that. what my father. So and my this mom, I can get away with because it's just it's nothing. It's not even a no, bit. It's not even a bit. Oh. But I'd be curious to see the one with your face on it just to do a comparison. I lost it. Okay. okay, that's Johnny Sanchez, everybody. <laughs> but I thank you guys. propane. Uh, no, uh, uh-uh. thank you guys for uh, thank you guys for listening. Uh, we appreciate you guys. Tell yeah. a friend, share the podcast. Correct. And um, we have some great guests coming up in the future. But thank you guys for listening. We out. Ruby Mother and Tuesdays. This show is all about diversity and bringing everyone together.
never know who you're going to see at Ruby Tuesdays. <laughs>